It's a DIY Rebunch Monday. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you how I turned all of this into these. The details are up next. <laughs> Hey guys for the read bunch method of bow tying this is what you're going to need this is a half a yard of two different prints of fabric um, your ruler a marker preferably a permanent one it, it doesn't have to be though um, a needle and thread with a knot at the very end of it and so I'm giving you two different options you get either elastic your bow tie or you could clip it on, all right? So now let's get started. Oh yeah, I forgot. You need your hot glue gun and a pair of scissors. All right guys, I'm gonna try to record this video all on my own, so we'll see how it goes. But um, the first thing I did was I just tried to measure out eight inches long, all right, which is like right there, and four and a half wide right and so to cut down on the amount of cuts and time I'm just gonna layer my fabrics together so that both pieces cut out at the same time now I'm making a double bow tie so the second one the second rectangle I make is going to be like an inch smaller all the way around and I'll show you what I mean so what I decided that. to do after thinking about it is I do want it to be the same thickness but I don't want it to be as long so I, my first cut was at eight inches for um, our first rectangle, right? Okay, so my second cut is going to be at six inches. So I just measured that out at six inches right there, and then that's where I'm gonna cut the second piece. All right, so this is my last cut, guys. My next cut is going to be for the little bow piece, like the piece in the center that wraps around. So I'm gonna make that like two inches wide by like uh, maybe like four inches long all right so I'm gonna cut both fabrics two by so as you can see the ends are kind of raggedy but that doesn't matter the reason why I cut it so wide is because we're gonna fold these ends in towards each other and so those ends will be covered and it won't matter okay so I cut this a little short it's four inches but I'm looking like I probably should have cut it longer but you'll see why like it'll still work it just I won't have as much um, give as I would if I cut it a little longer. Okay, so let's get started now with our largest pieces of fabric and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with those. All right, so now it's hot glue time. So we're going to take our ends and just fold them towards the center so that they meet. Try to make them as even as possible, I would say. So like that. And then I'm just gonna glue each piece, put a little dot and secure it on both sides. I put the second dot on top of the seam of the first one. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, okay. So now I'm just gonna take the ends and do the same thing. I'm just gonna fold them towards the center and then I'm gonna put a little dot of glue in the middle just to secure both. Okay, so this is what we have. So now I'm just gonna do this to all of my pieces, the big ones and the small ones. All right, so this is what I have. I have my small and my large, small and my large. And then with the piece that wraps around, I just folded each piece toward the center and glued it down on both of them. Can you see that seam right there? Okay. So, and I didn't worry about the edges at all. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you the layer, what I'm gonna do. And this is where my needle and thread comes in. So I'm just gonna put them, and as you can see, because I took that inch off of each side of the smaller one, it allows you to be able to see the back one. So I'm just gonna bunch it up, make it look kinda like how I want it, like that. And then I'm gonna take my needle and thread and go up through there and just secure it in place 
It's going to be a little difficult. That's so um, cute. See, I've had silence up until this point, y'all, because so I was very mommy. intentional about doing this when my kids are asleep, but now I hear them up and moving. All right, so once you get that needle up through there, you just wrap it around. Mm -hmm. And all this does is make it easier for you to glue the um, the piece that covers it around it. So I just wrap it around a couple of times. And then on the back of the bow tie, I just take my needle and go through the thread in the back. Oh. Uh, there we go. And then pull it through. Just one time is enough. Then cut it, and then you have I can kind of start seeing the form of it a little bit better, and then I can take my piece that wraps around, and I think I'm going to fold it again because I don't like how thick it is, and just put it around now like that. You see that? And now I'm just going to hot glue this um, to the back of the bow. This is the back side. Wait. You can see the edge is all rough. So I'm just, this is the front side. I'm just gonna wrap this around and glue it at the back. So once I wrap it around and I secure it in the back, I can then take the access. And remember, I told you it was gonna be a little access on the wrap around, which is why it didn't matter that I cut it a little short because I knew I was gonna have to end up cutting some of it off. Boom, cut that off. And there you have it. Not too difficult, right? So now from here, what you can do for super easy is just to take this clip and just hot glue it right on the back there and make a little clip tie. If you don't wanna go that route, you can take your ribbon, I mean your um, elastic, you can measure your child's neck with that and then cut out the amount that you need and then hot glue them to the back as well. And then that's just how you do those two options. So cold. And my plate really great. Done little bow tie. So we got our polka dots on the back end, our stripes, and then our polka dot fabric wrapped around the center. On the back, we have our clip attached. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like on. Alright, so guys, this is what it looks like when it's on. Yay, handsome fella. Love it. So here are the finished products here this one has an elastic band attached to the back of it and no one sees the back so you know don't pay no attention to that sloppiness back there and then this one is just has a clip attached to the back of it so you could go either way i wanted to show you both options they both look fine wear fine all that good stuff as you can see, this one is for my older boy. He's a little bit bigger, but I use the Instead same Instead of lining it up right to itself like this on the, back, on the back, I just left space. So just creating that much space was enough to make the bow larger, okay? So that's how I did that. I hope that is clear and you understand that. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. Bye!